You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Amanda Kinseth. And Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in the area, then it's on Carolina and Company Live. It's Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Yeah. It's Friday. I Woo. knew she was going to do that, so I was ready for it. Oh, How you doing? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It's Friday. You got that right. And we're looking forward to a good weekend. Dancing with the Stars is this weekend. That's I have right. a Your lot hair. of work to do. Your hair grew My back. My hair grew back. Yeah. Unbelievable. If you, if you missed it yesterday, we'll show you a picture. We'll tell you what, <laughs> what happened. But, oh, there yeah, it is there, right yes, there. Yeah. So it was short and red yesterday, and then I uh, grew it back out today. And, yeah. Uh, That's got, called black cherry, natural, she told me. Black cherry yeah, color. Black yeah. Cherry. Funny story, real quick about that. Actually, my husband, I go to Ocean's Edge um, Salon in Surfside mm -hmm. Beach. Right. My husband was there, and they had Carolina and Company on. My son was with him. He said, oh, look, it, Mommy's show is on. Oh, Mommy must not be on the show today. Wait a minute, <laughs> what? <laughs> and then he they started didn't even yelling. He's like, hey, hey, was my <laughs> wife in here this morning? Did she just do that to her hair? So it was pretty funny. They finally figured out it was, in fact, a That's wig. right, but, it was. Uh, <laughs> All right, talking about a great weekend. we got a great weekend planned for the weather. Check this out. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live, and congratulations, Bojangles Local, right here. Yes, sir, biscuits. Royce Vereen. Yeah, we were with him the Gosh. other day making biscuits, and uh, he went to the big competition and, and won. That he sure did. Over 400 people. There he is. Over 400 people taking part in it, narrowed down to 10. And in Charlotte uh, yesterday, they competed, and they have to do it at a certain time period. And look at the man after three years working with Bojangles. He is the biscuit-making champion. And guess what? What? He got $2,500. Ooh, very wow. nice. Congratulations. He is the best biscuit-maker yeah. in the look nation. At, hey, awesome look, job. Oh, look at that Way biscuit. to go. i got to show it to you. Look yeah. At it. Did he make great? this one? Yes, he made it. He made mm. it just for you. Mm. Gosh. We've got a whole box full of them we'll give out here, too. That's, All that's right. awesome. Good for you. <laughs> All right, let's talk about something else real quick. I want to mention about last Sunday's uh, Beach Music Awards at the Alabama Theater. We've been busy all week long, hadn't had time to do it. I was there. It was great. Me and Danny Lockamy, we got to be presenters, and uh, we were, you know, had a great time. But let me tell you, there he is, Eddie Floyd, the man that did Knock On Wood, California Girls, all those great songs. He was really rocking the place, and I want to thank uh, Peter and Curtis Carpenter for making it another great Beach Music Awards. Sellout crowd, 2,000 people there. Wow, very nice. I know you love that show. You know, I do, I do. Let me tell you, there's a free car show tomorrow. Did you know that? Um, I can't imagine. A car free show car on a show. Saturday, what? That's right. It's going to be taking place at Maggie D's, located right behind the Coastal Grand Mall in Myrtle Beach. The rock and roll oldies start playing at 11 and runs until 2. Open to any kind of car or truck you want to bring it and show it off. Come on down and do it. It's going to be a fun event, and you get to see a lot of cool, look at those cool vehicles. Those are cool. I'm talking about some nice stuff. All right, let's find out about today. This is it. We're talking about today's Friday, November 20th, and this is Universal Children's Day. All right. And it's also Celebrate Life Day. Celebrate I do that life. every day. When it's... you get older, you will too. <laughs> yes. Every day when I get up. Birthdays today, check this out. 1956, Bo Derrick. 59 years old. I can still see her in that 1979 movie, 10, Running Down the Beach. Wow. She also played Jane in the Tarzan, uh, the Ape Man. And her real name, guess what it is? It's Mary Collins. Oh, it's not Bo, huh? I like Bo. It's Bo time. All right, 1975, Derek Bentley, 40 years old, a country singer. You remember the song, Drunk on a Plane, and What Was I Thinking, and Feel the Fire, just a couple of his songs. 1977, there he is, Josh Turner, 38 years old, a country singer from Hannah Pampico, South Carolina. Firecracker and Long Black Train, a couple of his. Yeah, and uh, oh, yeah. what's my favorite? He sings one of my favorite ones. Does he? I can't think of you the name right You should have thought about it before you said oh, it. Oh, I didn't realize it was his birthday Okay, today. I'm sorry. <laughs> 1947, today in history, uh, Meet the Press makes its uh, network television debut. And in 1983, 100 million people watched ABC's TV movie The Day After about a nuclear war. All right, let's check it out from the Know It All Department. You ready, Amanda? Ready. Always ready for this. How many of you have been told while you're young, you know what I'm saying, while you're young, after you eat, you have to wait 30 minutes before you go into the water? Yeah. Were y'all told? Everybody was told Everyone's that. Everyone's told My that. My parents told me that all the time. Well, guess what? That is not true. There is no danger to going swimming 
time you finish eating. Oh yeah, you don't yeah. like sink to the bottom. No, you get got, a cramp though. Unless you got a whole chicken. The problem, you got a whole chicken in your gonna, pocket, you may sink. Or a lot of biscuits. Yeah, a lot of biscuits. In your <laughs> but that's nothing to it. So you can go swimming right after you eat. I mean, that's just been proven. Good to know. That's good to know. I don't go swimming anyway. I'm no. scared of sharks. All right, that's <laughs> it. I'm going to know it all department and today. Just so you know, favorite yeah. song by favorite Josh song? Turner, Your Man. Your Man. It's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget, uh, Dancing with the Stars tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. We're airing it live on the CW. Uh, Wally B will actually be the MC of the event, and I'll be hosting mm -hmm. it on the TV side. Um, mm -hmm. Wally B's coming up later in the show, along with a bunch of other stuff. We've got to go to break now Ooh. so Cecil can finish I can his finish biscuit, it. and then we're going to talk to somebody who can help him work off that biscuit. Stay right uh -oh. there. Oh. Here we are at Clothes Mentor for Fashion Fridays, and you know, everyone wants to look good for Thanksgiving, a holiday. You see some family members that you may haven't seen for a while, uh, so they can come here and pick out an outfit. They can, and you're all ready to go for either whether you're cooking or whether you're just the guest at the dining room table. I won't be cooking, so oh, right, I'll be, I'll be eating though, fine, enjoying. Maybe having a glass of wine. <laughs> sure, why not? Um, she's got um, short sleeves on over a cute little tunic top. She's got her Miss Me jeans on and a cute pair of brown boots. Yeah, it's very comfortable very and casual. it looks cute too. It, All put together. Right, and but there's you need the you might need expandable <laughs> waist, right? Depending on how much you're gonna eat. But um, this outfit is good for Thanksgiving or for for any time really. Right. You can find it all right here at Closed Mentor on Highway 544 in Myrtle Beach. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, you're thinking about all this food you're going to be eating over the holidays. Well, you want to bet. Get in shape. You know what I'm talking about? That's right. And Rachel Tipton is here with tips for your holiday survival, how to uh, <laughs> get through without completely ruining your health and whatnot, right? Right, exactly. It's coming. And as we know, Thanksgiving is a huge eating holiday. But if you think ahead and have a little bit of a plan, then you can survive it and not feel guilty and also feel like passing out on the couch. Right. Right. Hey, <laughs> Doesn't that's everybody it. feel like that? Well, you wrote um, an article about the top 10 <laughs> tips. Give, give us some of the tips, some yeah. examples of what to do or steer clear of. Well, number one is just have a plan. And I used to, when I was younger, think, oh, there's a huge meal at 3 o'clock, so I just wouldn't eat anything all day. I'd be like, okay, I'm going to save up my calories. And that's a big mistake, to because then it's kind of like I like to tell my clients, to think of your body as a machine, like a paper shredder. If you stick a whole stack of paper into a paper shredder at once, it doesn't Jam. work, it jams up, right? So you yeah. wanna just feed a little in at a time. So just nibble a little bit throughout the day. So when you sit down to the meal, you can enjoy all of the wonderful items that are there, but not stuff yourself, no. like yeah. the jerky. Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem you've got. Everybody goes back and gets more. You know, mama's cooking, grandmama's cooking. Oh God, let me have some more. Right. And that's the problem. We get so fat, <laughs> so fat. <laughs> Well, the, the whole point of your family meal is to enjoy some of those nostalgic right. items that grandma and mom make. So you want to just kind of scope the scene and decide what is the most important to you and then just put a little on your plate at, and have a little of everything. There's no reason you can't indulge in, like my mom makes this sweet potato stuff, Ooh, sweet souffle? potato oh, souffle that's, that's amazing, wow. not low in calories, but I just have a little bit of it. Yeah. and. Then I get to have my cake and eat it too, really. Well, that's the way. Eat a little guilty. bit at a time, just like I was eating a little bit of that biscuit at a that's time. Right. <laughs> that's right. Work it in. Just work just it try, in. Don't eat the that's whole right. box. No, no, no. That's right. Well, and uh, you also, uh, you do um, fitness coaching and whatnot. And uh, I want to talk about the aerial fitness because we have done that together. Yeah. And it's amazing. Yeah, you explain what it is. You kind of hang from the air. There it right. is right there. There's a picture of it. Uh, aerial fitness is a, is a new trend that's happening across the nation. And I'm the first person to bring it to the Grand Strand. If you imagine going to the circus and seeing seeing the fabric hanging from the ceiling. You've seen people climb up and down. And it's, um, <laughs> there's wow. Joseph hanging upside down. <laughs> it's, the big thing about it is that it's really different. A lot of people tend to go to the gym and just get bored and not have a challenge that is fun for them. They're just dread going. So this is a fun thing to do that challenges your whole entire body, your core, your arms, of course. But w when you engage all the muscles, you're getting a full body workout. All right, now, do, do they have some heavy duty ropes? Because if I did that, I got to have something a little heavy to hold me up. My rig can support uh, 5,000 yeah. okay. pounds, so you're good. Wow. Oh, wow, 5,000. Right. I think you're Thanks a good. lot. Check Unless it out. Unless you finish that box yeah. of biscuits. Ultra, and then, you know, I'm no. just going to eat one. Yeah. <laughs> Ultra Fit Lifestyle. Learn more about it right there. You can check it out on the internet. We'll be right back. we got a lot more. And uh, Don't touch my biscuit. Somebody's over there. We'll be right back.
Company Live. We're all gearing up for the shopping season. Next Friday is Black Friday. And the day after that is Small Business Day, where you're encouraged to go out and support these local That's businesses. Right. I mean, we hope you do that all the time, but this is the day to do it for sure. That's right. And Sisters Books and Pauly's Island's here today with us, and we've got Bess and Fran with us to talk about supporting small businesses. Right. I mean, that's the big deal. Well, my sister's books are used paperbacks down in Polly's Island, mm -hmm. and we want all our local people to come visit us instead of, you know, going to the big box stores. We offer a uniqueness that we have local authors and local stories, and we're, we offer face-to-face -face personal service. My wife goes there all the time. You bet. That's we enjoy no her. Joke. She loves And that. your mother-in-law, and yep. we know exactly what she likes to read, and we offer new authors to it. That's what's so amazing about when they and when they walk in. Now, yes, what what are y'all going to be doing that day special? Anything special for the oh, Small yes. Business Day? What are y'all going to be doing? We will have gifts with every purchase. Really? And of course, mm -hmm. we always have refreshments. Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. And usually and we have a local author. Oh, you haven't? You have a local oh, author? Oh, author, authors Next. love to come in and, and greet people. Well, that's the yeah. good thing about it. You get to promote the local our, our, mm -hmm. um, authors. 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 I got that word. Yeah. And uh, all right. Now, we're going to look at, uh, let's say we've got three books here we're going to show now. Now, tell me what about, about these books. Now, oh. What about these? Oh, they have the title. Sister is in the title. Oh, To remind okay. you, it's my sister's books. <laughs> yeah. So oh, okay. my sister reads them, and I sell them when she's not looking. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's 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 my works. sister's books. We both read. Yeah, that's we good. Use well, that's, paperbacks. Well, what's so great about it, you can bring your books in and trade, mm -hmm. and uh, you can get new books from there that people have written. These books look brand new to me. I exactly. promise you they do. Gently read before. They, I believe Gently that. Gently read, yeah. I believe that. Well, what's nice, you're, you know, you're a local business, and you get to know the people who come. So you're saying you actually can recommend books yes. to, mm -hmm. to people, which is, I mean, that's huge. You know, you don't get that at all stores. Well, shopping local keeps the funds in the community, and then we hire f your friends and neighbors, and therefore you get the personal face-to-face -face service. So that's great. That's yeah. great. All right, tell them again. What day at all? What day? Okay, is? this Saturday after Thanksgiving, Small Business Day, we're going to be open from 10 to 6, and we're offering a gift with purchase. That's right down in Pauly's Island. My sister's book. My sister's exactly. books, yes. And check, hit all the local businesses on that day and all throughout the holidays, too. You know, it is so important to support local My local wife businesses tells me right all the here. time, read a book, Cecil. Yeah. And say, maybe it, Deborah said, will read one I to said, you. Yeah, she, I tried to get her to do that the other day. Exactly. Now, books make really good presents. Oh, they yeah. do? Well, yeah, because you get to read them first. Yep. And then they're easy to wrap, easy to carry, <laughs> and you can pack them in your suitcase. And send them all? Yeah. Well, thank mm -hmm. y'all so much and for being here. It tastes better than fruitcake. It does. <laughs> I'll buy that one. I'll buy that one. All right. We got a lot Speaking more coming up. Speaking of local authors, we have coming, <laughs> one coming up next, so stay right there. Carolina and Company Live. It's a Friday. Every time I say that, it's I want to do the dance. It's a Friday. Yeah. All right, now we're talking about something coming up. Grand Strand Authors, the Socrates Library, is coming up November 20th. And uh, it's going to be a big event talking about authors coming in, talking about their books. That's right. It's actually going on right now. And one of our local authors, Peter Warren, uh, escaped for a few moments to come here and Absolutely. tell us all about it. It's going on today and tomorrow. And it's at the Socrates Library. There's a bunch of different authors there, local authors, right? Yes, today and tomorrow we have a total of uh, 13 authors that are going to be participating in the, in the event. It's uh, free and open to the public to to come and see what uh, the authors have uh, written their stories about. A lot of talented people along the Grand Strand, and it's a pleasure being a part of that group. So uh, we're hoping that uh, folks will come down and take a look at what the stories that we've written. And we're also going to uh, redo the event and uh, Friday and Saturday the 11th and 12th of December as well. Well, what? we were just talking about um, My Sister's Books, which you've actually you been, there. been there for yes, book signing. Absolutely. And supporting local businesses and supporting local authors, too. Absolutely. And uh, as Bess mentioned, uh, some of the books that we've written are, are, are great uh, ways to uh, give out gifts for Christmas to your family and your friends. and. Uh, that's why we're encouraging everybody to come down and see the, uh, the, the wonderful stories that we've written, murder mysteries, Civil War novels, uh, a lot of romance novels, kids' books, so uh, a lot of great stories. And it's uh, not, you don't, only, don't always have to go to the big box store to, to, to get to a buy great a book. book. You That's can right. get it from Right, the, and you've got a couple with you that you've Yeah, what are those right? now? What are we yeah. showing there? Look at those. Uh, Confederate Gold and Silver was my first book. It's a, uh, a story uh, about the uh, treasury, the Confederacy that disappeared. 
during the end of the war. It's got two great stories, and the book comes to a wonderful ending down in Charleston, South Carolina. A lot of South Carolina history in that book, and it's not a dry history book. It's a novel, and my other book, uh, The Horry County Murders, is a, a fictional story that takes place between uh, Myrtle Beach and Georgetown, and uh, it's got a couple of uh, little surprises at the end of the story to make it interesting. So, well, you got a lot of local authors that do a lot of writing around here. Absolutely, absolutely. There's a uh, there's a couple different local author groups. There's probably well over uh, 50 local authors who are who are writing books, and most of us have written three, four different uh, books, and uh, so that's why we're we're has having this event so everybody can come right. meet them. It's yeah. today and tomorrow, right? Okay, at Soccer State Library. Yes, it is. From uh, what time does start tomorrow and today? It started today at uh, 10 o'clock and it runs till uh, 2 o'clock today. Okay. And tomorrow it runs from 9 to 1. Yeah, All and right. just a side note, our uh, very own Joel Allen will be out there tomorrow with his book, yeah, which is a good book. I've read it. Joel's written a book about me. Yeah, that's what it is. No, it wasn't Don't about worry, me. It's not That's about not it. It's not about me. <laughs> We've got more in just a moment talking about dancing with the Horry County Stars. Stick with us. Pretty live talking about dancing with the Horry County Stars tomorrow night. And uh, Wally B is the MC. Yeah, from yes. the Tide, 94.5. He's going to be MC in that event. Thank God they were so desperate this year. <laughs> I got a gig tomorrow night. Hey, you got something to do tomorrow night. No, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. Be, I'm looking forward to it. A lot of fun. I'm honored to follow in the footsteps of uh, BJ Kennard over yeah. at a different station in town, as well as Jackie Beaumont. We know what a yeah. great entertainer she is. Mm -hmm. So I'm honored that Marcia is uh, you know, allowing me to take the mic this time. That's now, be in the past, uh, the MCs have sang. Or dance. Or dance, yeah. You Which one that? are you doing? Nothing's been set up, but I'll be happy. I'm spontaneous. I can improvise. <laughs> <laughs> if they want it, I'll, I'll bring it. You might have to do that while I'm busy doing my costume changes if I can't make it out there in time. I'll do you a might jig, actually, Simpson style something. or something. Okay, all right, good. <laughs> yeah, now all this can be seen. Now, if you're thinking about wanting to see it, if you can't get there and get tickets to be there, it's going to be held at. Yeah, it'll be starting at 8 p.m. tomorrow night on the CW. That's WWMB. I don't know what channel it is on on your TV, but you'll have to look for it. Right. Check um, your you local also, yeah, yeah, Channel 8 on Time yeah. Warner, I can yeah, tell you that Yeah, Channel 8 right on Time Warner, Channel 21 off air on Antenna. Yeah. Um, also, it should be streaming live on WPDE.com. Um, so you'll be able to get that on your computer or even on your phone. If you have our app, you should be yeah. able to watch it anywhere you are. Yeah, I can even watch it on my phone. Amanda showed me how. That's right. That's right. I and know how you, to do it. If you visit OriDancing.com, you can check out the the dancers, you can vote. Line up and everything. Information, yeah. Et yeah, so. oriedancing.com, okay. you can see everybody. It's just hit vote now. It tells you who all who okay. all will be on there. And um, yeah. we're we're hosting the telethon so we can have people call in because you can vote for them by donating $10. That's Here's right. some practice video. Let me tell you how hard these people have been practicing for this event because it's no joke and it's, it's tough. I mean, you have to put in a lot of hours to get ready for this. Hey, thing. look at the moves. All right. Look at here. We got a few moves here. So, uh, but the show is uh, fantastic if you've never seen it before. Yeah. Um, so we're, I'm excited to have Wally out there. Yeah. Though. You know, tickets are available. If you want to come to the show at the Marina Inn, you can check it out live. If not, as you said, watch it online. Uh, on yep. WPD.com. It's going to be a lot of fun. And OriDancing.com. Vote, 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 because it's all for two great causes. That's right. The Ori County K-12 Foundation and, of course, the Ori County Early College High School. Yeah. Right. We well, thank you right for being with us, Wally B. Good luck pleasure. tomorrow night, buddy. Thank you. I'm going to need all it. Right. I'll see you tomorrow. I look forward Tell to it. Tell them bye, everybody. Really nice Thank you.